So what does <clears throat> light fastness mean? Well, it basically means how quickly these colours will fade um, when exposed to sunlight. Now obviously you want to expose it to sunlight because well, you want people to see your pictures but at the same time you don't want it to fade so if you are doing a pencil drawing, uh, a coloured pencil drawing I'd recommend not hanging it up where there will be direct sunlight. So what happens when something gets damaged by the sun? Well it fades, you know, just like I don't know if you guys have any of you've got books that you've kept on a bookshelf the sun over a couple of years has completely faded the ink on the cover of the books you know stuff in shop displays you know boxed items in shop displays that haven't been moved you will see that they they've been the ink on the front has been faded so that can also happen with your coloured pencils, unfortunately. What can we do to avoid this? The first thing we should do is have a look to see if the coloured pencils that you're using have a light fastness rating. How do we see that? Well, on these pencils, these are Polychromos by Faber-Castell we see a star rating system here so this pencil here has two stars you can have a maximum of three in the Polychromos range so two stars for me isn't good enough two stars and one star are a big no-no because they are going to fade far more easily than the three star rated pencils. And when I first, uh, with my early drawings, I actually um, did use a couple of these, unfortunately, because I didn't know any better and I wish I hadn't. So, before you go any further, I would recommend not using any of the colours that are two stars or below in the polychromos range. Now if you're just you know having a bit of fun and drawing fine no problem just use them you know it's, it's totally fine but if you're you know sat there making a masterpiece for hours and hours and hours on end and then you find out oh it's all gonna fade that's slightly more distressing um, so yeah watch out for that so that's the polychromos range what about luminance well luminance are very very good for this problem they are probably the most reliable pencils when it comes to light fastness um, and this is proven by several people that have done tests online um, you can, I mean, you just Google it, you know, Google light fastness, light fast test uh, for coloured pencils. You can see people, basically what they do is they get a piece of paper and they have a little grid and have all the colours from a specific range on that piece of paper and they put that piece of paper um, right up against a window where the sun is going to hit and they leave it there. They leave it there for six months, and um, I've read quite a few of those uh, reviews, and Luminance really stood up. I mean, almost nothing happened to the Luminance. And, you know, you, bear in mind, you're not going to be, you know, making a picture and then sticking it to a window, you know, for the sun to shine on it all year round. But still... It, it proves that luminance are very, very good for that particular problem. Polychromos are also very good, but they've warned you, these are not rated as highly, so they are going to fade. 
Okay, this one included. Um, yeah, so I would definitely keep an eye out for that. And any colours that you really want to use in a final piece that you see here, like these pinks and violets and um, these sort of pastel -y colours and some of these reds, just don't use them. I mean, there's so many other reds uh, in the polychromos range that you may as well just not risk it. I mean, here's a three-star red. You know, there's another three star red here. There's just, I've got probably like a handful of three star reds still just staring at me now. So don't bother or get luminance. Now, the, admittedly, the polychromos range, once you take out these purples and pinks, you're a little bit limited on that front. Um, all you have left is the, this rose carmine, which is the only three star rated pink left, proper pink, not the skin tone pinks. And um, for violet, you've got two different very dark purple tones, um, which aren't exactly great for achieving this kind of tone or this kind of lilac kind of tone so you know you're left with these three pencils that are three star rated so that's what actually drove me to end up buying luminance anyway because I thought well they're all very light fast and I can just have a go and see what they're like and yeah luminance have several different um, pinks and violets and you know these are and these are all very much these are all very permanent and light fast rated so yeah i mean i would go for luminance if you're going to be using these kinds of colors and you don't want them to fade um which is a shame really because i do like the polychromos but um I guess that's what you, you you just get what you pay for, don't you? The polychromos cost a whole lot less than the luminance do. It's simple as that. So even if you don't want to spend on a load of luminance pencils, um, you could just get the ones that are missing um, from polychromos range. Now luminance also have two light fast ratings, but in all the tests that I've looked at, they don't seem to make any difference. They, they're they pretty, pretty solid. So, yeah. But by no means does this mean that Polychromos are not light fast. They are. They are one of the best um, pencils, coloured pencils in the world. Just watch out for these. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So, I hope that's been informative. Bear in mind, you know, if you're buying pencils that somehow avoid the subject of light fastness, then you've got to question why that is, because it could be that they're not really light fast at all. So think about that before buying a brand of pencils. And actually think about light fastness in general with any art products. I mean... A lot of people like using marker pens and things like that and stuff like, you know, using gel pens and Tipex um, to create highlights and things like that. But it's it's a really bad idea for the longevity of your pictures. Um, a white gel pen, especially something like that, it's it is not made to last. It's I'm pretty certain that kind of thing will yellow and probably eat through the paper um, long term because um, these kinds of things have acid in them that slowly erode uh, the paper you use them on so I would be very very weary of using gel pens and markers if you're hoping that it would last it's going to last a very very long time um, they will deteriorate I mean everything will eventually but Markers, gel pens, they're, they're going to really, really deteriorate and fade. You know, so just watch out for that. By all means, draw with anything and everything. Don't get precious. Don't worry about it too much. 
but just bear in mind if you're going to do a gigantic masterpiece think about the materials you're using and the longevity they are going to have okay i will see you guys soon with a tutorial hope you all have lots of fun drawing bye for now Thank you.